Yeah, my name is Bear Irwin, and uh, I live in Vermont and teach in Vermont. What do you teach? I teach music in Vermont. And I've taught music in Vermont. I started to teach in 1970 and retired from the public schools in 2015. But uh, I've been teaching here in Middlebury College for an unknown amount of time that's around 15 years or so. And uh, now I continue to teach uh, in the public sector at the Middlebury Community Music Center. Well, my father was a, uh, a Navy officer during World War II. My mother uh, was, uh, I think, trained as an English teacher, but she played piano. But with uh, seven children, she was pretty much a home mother. There was a period there where either my brothers or I arranged to have a a uh, piano player lived at the house for a while and so we could take care of of him and he just became like the seventh sibling and uh, but it gave us the keyboard player we needed to uh, practice. Four, three, two, one. I started, you know we all of us you know, we apparently inherited some science and math genes. We didn't really get bedtime stories. We got to learn how to use the slide rule. I think all of us are still very interested in a lot of things academically, including science. So I thought that would be a good career. And in fact, that's when I got my best grades and made what they called then the dean's list. And uh, at any rate, it's, uh, I, it became clear to me that it was going to be a really long time, you know, in the neighborhood of 12 years, to earn a degree in medicine. And, uh, and I actually just really missed playing music a lot, so I decided to make a change to music education, and I haven't looked back. There is evidence that other life forms have emotional intelligence, but yeah, none of them are writing screenplays or poems or there's no evidence that they're writing novels or are uh, learning to play instruments other than their own voices. And uh, uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's, it seems to clear to me that the, that the human life form is, the, is advanced in, in terms of actually also expressing their emotions through arts. When we play jazz, we have the opportunity to create music spontaneously, and it's way more exciting and never-ending than that. There, there is no end level. It just keeps going and going and going. So it's at once extremely challenging, occasionally frustrating, but ultimately gratifying. Form. It won't say this tune is playing an alto instead of a tenor, and it, I just got braces. So, but for whatever it's worth to you, Nat, I don't think I would have been able to tell that from what you did, either thing. So that's pretty cool. What song describes you? Well, I, you know that I, that's a difficult question too. I think, but if we leave it to the context of musicianship and 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 being a musician. Uh, it's, um, you know, we think of the famous Broadway musical, long live Broadway musical, Music Man, but I would, uh, I would maybe choose a, a Cole Porter standard called I Love You. Are you still a music man? <laughs> I'm very lucky that way. I, I get to do music, so uh, I'll, I'll agree to that. But I'm not the only one. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that qualifier on there.